On June 12th, Michael Quinn Sullivan walked into the Texas Capitol to take a meeting with Speaker of the House Dennis Bonnet. What was said has become the subject of articles, a lawsuit, and ongoing Texas Rangers investigation. Now we can hear it for ourselves. When it comes to 2020, if we're successful and we gain maybe one or two or three Republican seats, we beat some of these liberal pieces of shit that took people out, and we maybe flip a couple of these primaries, better ours, mm -hmm. kick my ass if we're not doing a better job. We can make this work. I'll, I'll put your guys on the floor next session. Speaker Bonin goes on to make crude comments about members of the House and eventually exits the room, leaving Sullivan with then House Republican Caucus Chair Dustin Burroughs as they discuss which Republicans to target. Why did you record the conversation? Um, I've known Dennis Bonin for 25 years um, as an acquaintance. Um, have always been you know, a little concerned with his, uh, his temper and his um, a tendency to misrepresent things. During the session, Bonin said he would not tolerate members of the House campaigning against incumbents regardless of party. And after news of the recording broke in the summer, he denied targeting Republicans. What was and remains most troubling to me was the rather cavalier way in which Speaker Bonin offered to take an official government action in exchange for me um, doing you know, his, his political dirty work. Sullivan says he was concerned Bonin would turn the tables on him, so he got on the record with what happened first. Texas Tribune executive editor Ross Ramsey thinks Sullivan's motives were more political to further his agenda. The play that was right in front of him was a house he was unhappy with gave him the opportunity to destabilize it and try for a better house, and I think that's the game he's playing right now. As for Bonin, he said in a statement, quote, this was nothing more than a political discussion. The problem is that I had it with that guy.